Welcome. All right, so here we go. What I have in this case is 0 equals 4x squared minus 25 over 81. And what I want to do is see if I can solve this by factoring using the uh, differ difference of two squares. So remember the form of difference of two squares, which I just erased, which is a squared minus b squared, can be factored into a minus b times a plus b. So what I need to do is determine, well, is this in the form of a squared minus b squared? And if it is, then I can determine what a is and what b is. So what I'll do is I'm just going to assume it is the difference of two terms, like a squared minus b squared. But I want to determine if it is, then I can then I can be able to solve for what is going to be my a. And then I can also solve for what will be my b. So what I'm going to do now is now I try to solve for a and for b for both of those two equations. So to do that, I'll, since that's a squared, I need to find out what a is. So I'll take the square root. And a equals, now remember, when you're taking the square root of two numbers that the product, that's the same thing as the square root of 4 times the square root of x squared. So therefore, a equals 2 x. Now, to take the square root of 25 over 81, I have b equals, again, that can be rewritten as the square root of 25 over the square root of 81. Well, the square root of 25, that's 5. The square root of 81 is 9. So therefore, a equals 2x and b equals 5 ninths. Now, I just rewrite that into that formula, and then I have it set. Since I'm solving by factoring, I'm going to set this equal to 0. So therefore, I have um, a, which is 2x plus 5 over 9, which is my b, and then 2x minus 5 over 9, which is uh, my b as well. Now I can apply the zero product property. Since they're both set equal to 0, I can, since they're, the product of them is set equal to 0, I can write them both set equal to 0. So that's 2x plus 5 over 9 equals 0, and 2x minus 5 over 9 equals 0. Now I solve for x by using my inverse operations. And therefore, I have 2x equals negative 5 over 9. Here I have 2x equals positive 5 over 9. Now I divide by 2. And therefore, I have x equals negative 5 over 18. And x equals, now again, if you don't know where I got that, since you're dividing by 2, you can always multiply. Remember when we were dividing fractions, instead of dividing fractions, you say, oh, multiply by the reciprocal. Well, that's the same case. I can re pretend that's a fraction of 2 over 1 and multiply by the reciprocal. So therefore, that's going to give me positive 5 over 18. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve your quadratic by factoring using the difference of two squares. Thanks.